the most awkward first dates. Many people never know what to do on their first date. The experience can be clumsy and in other instances, awkward. Today we count 10 awkward first dates. Let us know your first date experience after viewing the video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. 10, Emma and Peter. Emma, a 47-year-old mom, was hoping to have a permanent relationship after her first date. She had been on a couple of dates with weird men and she was hoping to catch a break. She enjoyed being a mom and Emma was also on Instagram even though people thought it was embarrassing. Well, a mom that's got Instagram, which is not cool apparently. I don't think it's that embarrassing as long as she wasn't posting weird photos. Emma was fun to be around, but she was also tired of going on a couple's date without a partner. Her ideal man was one who was well-groomed, with short gray hair, a bit tall, and manly. I like a man that's groomed. Short gray hair, reasonably tall, nice. Her date finally arrived, and he was everything Emma described, except that they knew each other from before. Peter was her ex. Oh. <laughs> Well, the two didn't need much of an introduction because they dated before. It was hard enough to get through the first few minutes at the bar, and the conversation at the table was bound to be awkward. A first date could either go well or completely awry. It went wrong for a blonde woman who had very high hopes. 9. Charlie Charlie was already on a date with another woman, but someone else was waiting for him at the bar. The woman had a massive crush on Charlie, and she'd hoped that they would take things to the next level. Unfortunately, Charlie was already enjoying his date and the two seemed to like each other. He said that he'd love to go on another date with the first woman. She also looked like she wouldn't mind a future engagement to Charlie. Charlie had another task to do, telling the woman at the counter that he wouldn't go on a date with her. It's probably the last thing she expected, but Charlie walked up to her and rejected the lady. The next moments which followed were too awkward for the both of them. The poor lady was too upset to talk about the incident and she broke into tears after Charlie left. Thank God Fred was still around to console her and to give her a shoulder to cry on. It's good to find out more about a person on the first date, but some questions are better off not asked when two people first meet. 8. Jordan and Barry Jordan, a 22-year-old stylist, wanted to meet the man of his dreams. He had quite an image with numerous tattoos and a well-groomed mustache, but he had to confirm that he looked good enough. Barry lived in a village where the ratio of straight men to gay guys was 1 in 4. He'd never been in a relationship before and hopefully the first date would change that. He was still able to draw attention because Jordan thought he was very good looking when he saw Barry walk through the door. The first question that came out of Jordan's mouth was out of this world. He asked Barry, are you gay? Well, obviously, why would another guy want to go on a romantic date with another man? Barry was first taken aback before he answered the question. After the awkward moments, the two seemed to have a great time together, and they laughed at each other's jokes throughout. Totally smitten. Flirting with someone on social sites like Instagram and Facebook is quite easy, but can people maintain the standards when they meet face to face? 7. Rob and Jamie Meet Rob, a guy whose judgment on a girl determines whether the relationship will go far or the girl will be friend-zoned. Rob was hoping to meet a girl who was in shape and maintained a good appearance. It would take him three seconds to determine whether or not his date was right for him. Let's say he was very confident about himself, until his partner walked through the door. For such a picky man, Rob was dumbfounded when Jamie walked up to him. She was precisely his type, an Instagram model with a good body, a beautiful face, and a charm to top it off. However, it wasn't the first date because Rob had previously slid into her DMs. The two stalked each other on Instagram and they finally got to meet but without their knowledge. Rob had to take a bathroom break with his drink and make a phone call to talk about the first date. Many people involuntarily have a behavior which they may not want to disclose on the first date, lest they scare the other person away. 6. Alicia and the Winker Alicia's date was going fine, except for a small behavior her partner had, and the awkward table manners they both had. Her date kept winking at her every few seconds, and she had to tell him to stop winking at her. It's hard to know for sure whether it was voluntary, because the date made it look a bit cute, even though it was also creepy. The date probably had a nervous tick, but he couldn't tell Alicia because he wasn't sure how she'd react. He decided to play along with the winking and made Alicia laugh a couple times. Don't wink at me, that's creepy. <laughs> oh no, I was only, I was only, I was only joking. <laughs> 
Alicia probably thought the winking was cute, but she didn't want to accept it on the first date. But she gave him another chance because she thought her date was nervous on the first date, and that's why he kept winking at her. He wanted to go on a second date with Alicia. How did it not cross her mind that the wink may have been involuntary, though? On a first date, one would expect to know if anything is shocking or weird about their partner, but can everyone handle the truth? 5. Danny and Aiden Danny had been on a date a week before she appeared on the show, and it didn't go quite well. She wasn't lucky with dating because she had a history which most men feared. She'd hoped that revealing the past to a date on the show wouldn't scare him away. However, Danny had to find a way to tell the secret, and talking about her business was the best way. She had a lingerie run, but had a problem getting products for trans women. Well, that's because nobody makes lingerie with the hope that trans women will buy them. It's a struggle for most of them to walk on the streets fully dressed, let alone in lingerie. The reveal wasn't a problem to Aiden, but it still shocked him and made the situation awkward. I'm sure 99% of straight men would have immediately walked out on her. The issue with such a reveal on a first date is that the following questions will probably be about the journey to transition, which is what happened during Aiden and Danny's date. Thankfully, she had a great support system that had no problem talking about her journey. The next pair on the show was probably a perfect match because of how stubborn they both were. 4. Cecilia and Vivek It's been drilled into men's heads that they should pay for the bill when they're out on a date. The date between Vivek and Cecilia went on well until the waitress brought the bill and she reached for her bag. Vivek wasn't about to let a lady pay for the bill, and he insisted that he should pay the bill. He went ahead and snatched her card to make sure that Cecilia didn't pay. The next couple of moments were a lengthy discussion of who should pay the bill. It was also awkward for the waitress who stood there and looked at them as they argued over the bill. Finally, they decided to split the bill, but the lady seemed genuinely angry that Vivek wouldn't allow her to pay the bill. Cecilia also got the door for Vivek when it was time to get into the taxi. According to her, it's the 21st century and people don't have to be tied down to stereotypes of who should pay the bill, open the door, and so forth. Do you agree with her? Let us know in the comments section below. While the previous couple had a problem about who shouldn't pay, the next couple had a different situation with the bill. 3. Libby and Nick Libby asked Nick what his definition of love was. For Nick, love was all about the energy the people shared, the affection, and the quality of time spent together. Then he started explaining what he meant and completely lost Libby, which marked the first awkward moment. According to Libby, love was being able to bet half a net worth that the couple would stay together forever. The difference in opinion marked another awkward moment, but that was barely the weirdest moment of the night. Nick looked at the bill and asked Libby if she wanted to pay for the drinks, and she said that she'd pay for whatever she got. The waitress did the subtraction. Then Nick made another shocking revelation. His wallet was missing. He offered to leave his phone as collateral and pay the bill when he got his wallet. The interview after the date also had many silent pauses, and Libby said that she wasn't interested in going on another date with Nick. Some vegans try to make people feel bad for eating meat and meat products. The next guy on first dates did precisely that, and made the date pretty weird. 2. Rachel and Harry The introduction between Rachel and Harry was okay until Harry ordered a vegan cider and Rachel knew she'd have a long night. Harry didn't like the fact that animals were tortured and decided to change his diet when he was 14. They sat down at the table and it was time for them to order a meal. Harry ordered another vegan food and Rachel ordered fish stew, a bold choice for someone on a date with a vegan. You can only imagine the look on Harry's face when she said, fish stew. Like how dare you order fish when I'm sitting right across from you. She pissed him off further when she asked the waiter what was in the fish stew. Harry tried to make Rachel feel guilty for eating fish, but she had none of that and enjoyed her nicely made meal. He even told her that she killed his friends. <laughs> Hilarious. Who is he, Aquaman? Ladies, if you don't want to get disappointed, please don't ask a man to guess your age, especially on the first date. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. 1. Federica and Lee The date between Federica and Lee started on the wrong foot. Lee seemed convinced that he wouldn't want anything to do with his date in the future. When Federica asked him whether he liked her, Lee's response was, We'll see. He, however, explains that he didn't like confrontations, and Federica did a lot of confrontations. She then forced him to try out of a glass of wine for her, and Lee wasn't entirely impressed. He probably drank the wine because he was trying not to be rude. 
The worst part was when Frederica asked Lee to guess her age. First of all, that was a wrong move because men aren't so good at guessing ages. She almost choked when Lee said 29. It should have been a sign for him to go lower, but instead he went higher and higher. <laughs> Hilarious. For some women like Frederica, guessing even a year older is a big disappointment. To be safe, men, always start with 21, and then you can work your way up if need be. Lee was trying to be polite, but Federica was already angry, and she made things even more awkward. Hope your dates go a little bit better than the rest of these guys. Thanks for watching, and have an excellent day.